but so is Headshot. Yeah. This is probably my favorite PS2 song because like these make these games are always so tense and dramatic. Yeah, these. Simon. Honestly, Ooh. the music in this game just makes such a big difference. Starting off with the Belmont right off the bat, not even seeing the Samus as you know, Samus mains really don't like this matchup. But now, I, mean, I, I know why. I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But seeing as uh, that's gonna see uh, how the Belmont's tools, right? That range, that disjoint is gonna be able to deal with Steve, right? You never basically have to get close to Steve, and you can pressure his mining from afar. We're gonna see if those blocks can help in this matchup or if Chuck is gonna play it differently. And right now we're seeing why he opted to play the Simon into this matchup. Whenever Steve gets into the into the minecart, he can try to whip him out of it. And kind of strange though, I believe earlier into the bracket he was playing Richter. I might be that he just wants the the red fire, but getting the cute conversion of fire into downer up it upbeat. Let's see how this goes. Steve not not even having a lot of resources just yet. Getting those upbeat punishes constantly on this uh, on this Richter. Yeah, and now on this diamond. we're gonna see headshot having total control. Looks like Chokyuken not really having an uh, easy time dealing with it. And, and the again, it again. Oh my God! Just a minute. And two stocks have been gone. Yep. If you're Chokyuken, you're wondering how are you gonna bring this back? I you're mean, gonna especially it's such a change of tempo from last game. Last game it was really uh, Kindred got a stock, Chokyuken got a stock, Kindred got a stock. So like, just straight up losing both your stocks to the same combo has to be really painful. Yeah. But I wonder if PS2 size is not really helping Chokyuken right now, right? Because the, the things like the walls are not being that effective at stopping the Belmos, right? Yep. Even though we're seeing him pressure with that uh, down air. Again, there is a reason yeah, he that can just, they he can just his poke character. through the blocks like that. It seems he can also hit him off with the minecart. Yeah. If he does minecart above, he can always up air it. Yeah. If and then catching the minecart with the holy water and then getting up smashed. Headshot with a Disney. really strong start. Just destroying Steve. Yeah. Maybe this is the answer. Maybe maybe 599 gets countered by two religious folk. Yeah, that just want a low tier according to some. Uh, yeah, a lot of people think this character is low tier, but I, I genuinely feel this character strong. I agree. I the agree. The only thing it has bad is the recovery. The recovery is really linear, really easy to punish. But this character has amazing out of shield options. And we're seeing, I think, the run back to PS2, which I'm honestly kind of surprised about, right? Because it seems like so hard to catch the Belmont on such a big stage. But maybe Chokyuken has something uh, I don't know about. Maybe. We're going to see. Maybe he just failed to... Maybe he had the game plan and he feels he failed it. So he's just going to try to run it again. Yeah. And now we're going to see Headshot going for these... Oh, the Holy Water actually bouncing back and not interrupting that throw combo. Yep, Holy Water, when it's shielded or invincibility, it will bounce off things. And it will hit both players. Oh, but the little cat, playing catch with the Holy Water. I mean, if you're playing the Belmos, right, you're gonna really have to have that on deck. Because that Holy Water can be used against you if you're not careful. Yep. Extremely easy for it to be used against you, too. Just one perfect shield is all it takes. Alright, hitting him in the back air. And now, Choke, you can, with the strong start this time, we're gonna see if... Uh, Hesha can get a cheeky down air up B again, or is Chokyuken gonna keep this lead? A very strong start, such a strong start indeed that he actually opts to start with the diamond. Not, not, it doesn't matter that he's 53% in, he just activates that diamond on deck. Good stage tech from Chokyuken. Kind of putting him in a disadvantage state though. Really nice two frame, and getting. Man, Headshot's just clipping everything this game. And then catching the roll. Headshot in control right now. You can tell Headshot is feeling it. Oh, and just the delay in Chokyuken just falling for that down smash. No way. And like I said, it was very unfortunate that Chokyuken did commit the diamond to that very first stock. So he's going to have to dig mighty hard for the next diamond. Yeah. And now we're seeing the Belmonts in the lead again. This is the spot you don't want to be in, right? Yep. Like, Steve normally doesn't really enjoy being behind, but he can manage. Exactly. But against the Belmonts, it's going to be an uphill battle. But if you get that minecart, you can definitely even the game out. Yeah, and again, against Belmonts and with a freshly cycled diamond, like, you're going to have to start digging when you have him off stage. 
Yeah. You gotta commit those resources, because Eve definitely doesn't need it to win, but Diamond helps a ton. Yeah, it does. Like, again, the resource management, right? You need to be really, uh, how do you say it, like, consistent, dedicated. Yeah, not just consistent. You have to be so efficient with it. You have to make sure to be digging on your off time, no matter how you're playing. Now, the Leshrop actually getting caught the Holy Water on the platform. I don't think he wanted that. Yeah, I mean, I think if it didn't get caught, it might have actually been a possible stock. Yeah, possibly. And now, okay, the Holy Water to catch the roll, but does not give it. Yep. Headshot showing extremely good patience, um, discipline. Definitely playing this the by platform the book. again. And he keeps doing the, the, the block behind him, and it keeps saving him, honestly. Yeah. But now we're seeing a bit of an even game. This didn't seem like the first game, right? Such a different change of pace. But yep. now, still headshot with the lead and doing the little whip angle. Show, the whip showing angle. off the little whip. <laughs> oh, but this is... Headshot's well, not actually, just feeling himself. He's definitely in the driver's seat here. Yeah. But not getting that up air extension he wanted. But still, it's dealing a lot of percent. Just whipping this Steve right now. Yep. Okay, going in for the drag down and the down tilt, the down air. This is really hard if you're choking. Oh, you okay, but just gets caught right there by the up smash trying to go for those down to be, uh, those down airs. Might be getting a bit too predictable as he jumps and Chokyuken calling it out with the up smash. And see and those blocks. Those walls have been saving this man's life nonstop. Okay, trying to maneuver around this whip, but that whip, man. I mean, they call him headshot for a reason. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, like I said in the very first stock, it's always a risk whenever you're committing your diamond to a stock that has any percent on it. And he chose to take the risk. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. But if he had worked out and he did get that first stock early, that committing of the diamond would have given him so much traction. But just like it can give him a ton of traction, it can actually take away so much from him. Yep. But we're going to see, uh, we don't see the Snake Shannon this time in a much smaller stage we're seeing right now, right? Makes sense, right? Like, the Belmont's just running around PS2, you're scrambling for options. But now, on Smashville, there's not many places to run. Yeah, especially, I mean, Chuggy Yugen being down 2-0, I feel like he might take another character eventually. If he wins this one, he might switch, because he does talk that he have another character. Yeah. But we might see it, we don't know yet. But opting to stay Steve during this whole set, Let's see how this works for him. Oh, minecart and the forward air, but yeah, the uh, be able to not be the end of headshot stock. Yep, having a Mar the S up up B, definitely really fast. Oh, Can't. big F smash right and now. And he's already looking for this very first stock headshot, not wasting any time. He wants that run back with E King. Yeah, but we're seeing there's not many places to run. Like you're just a minecart away. Yep. This small smash was that then hanging on a little bit too long. You're gonna get blown up by that TNT. That TNT taking every finger that Belmont has. All of them. They're all gone. All ten. And now we're seeing we're seeing the stage not being able to run from Steve and now going for that up B, okay? Trying to escape that situation. Very interesting. Headshot playing a little slower than he did in the first two games, but completely understandable when he lost such an early stock. Yeah. But now this is this is what Steve wants, right? Even if it's the Belmonts harassing you from afar, it's from afar, right? Like you still have time and room to maneuver. I mean, if it, even if it's Smashville, right? Plus, you seventy percent is a lot to get for extra credit. Yeah, for sure. And now the TNT again. Is it gonna be the end of his stock again? No. Okay, using the he invincibility. Using invincibility. Yeah. Okay, but it's kind of a tight spot. But you can manage to get out alive. And yeah, going for that down air again. I'm going to be honest, Headshot's definitely getting a lot of traction off these forward airs against the clown, the minecart. 100% getting a lot of the minecart pressure away. So, forcing Choke Yugen to play a little more aggressive personally without actually using the minecart. But let's see where it can take him because he had a lot of extra credit this dog and it's already closed, it's already even. Oh, yeah. Headshot's even already looking for the kill, honestly. Yeah, but then Chokyuken landing that famous Chokyuken back here. But right now, Headshot can just bring this back easily with that sledge trap. So we're going to see as we do. Catching that roll with the Holy Water expertly plays right there by uh, Headshot. Yep, more diamond on deck, honestly. So Chokyuken isn't even worried Oh, at this, this is a dangerous spot using the block on the end. He uses jump. Yeah. He uses jump. He's dead. He's dead. Yeah, he he's just dead. dies.
amazingly played on that edge guard right there by Chokiken. Everyone in the chat that was like, <clears throat> and these guys are saying that this guy's not a low tier, are saying, dude, I told you, I told you he's a low tier. I told you, bro, that recovery is bad, <laughs> but I mean, we're going to see now, this is the pivotal moment, right? That stage counterpick, because we just saw the change in pace from PS2 to Smashville. So what Headshot thinking about his options right now, trying to decide what's the best approach. And Kalos, okay. I'll be back yep. really quick. Yeah, no problem. I got you. And now we're seeing the switch back to Kalos, okay? So, interesting that Chokugan left this stage open, but maybe there were more important bans, right? But, yeah, it's just going for that Richter and staying Steve. So, this is interesting. This is interesting. I'm curious to see how Chokugan is going to adapt, right? Because going PS2 was not going his favor, but... We're going into this game four, still in the tournament's uh, life for Chokugan, but... Oh, yeah, going for that uh, edge guardian sequence, a little uh, committal, but manages to get it out of there alive. And yeah, that holy water just traveling across the entire stage. Definitely an interesting tool in this stage, right? Because the stage is so long, so the holy water can just travel so far. And clipping him with the Florida, but headshot expertly saving his jump. Able to make it back, and then the minecart up smash. Oh, back air, back air. Take this, but not able to clip him. Now Chukikin just mining, crafting, you know, Steve things, and now still has that fist. So we're gonna see if Chukikin is able to craft something, or is he just gonna get the extra credit he can? Yeah, manages to craft that stone, and now he has the diamond. I shot forwarding now in control. Chokyuken nicely played in this advantage right there. But yeah, trying to cross him up. But the, the Belmonts, that up B is really good out of Shield Lofton. Honestly, very underrated, I feel. Back air catching that roll. I mean, Belmonts can just catch your options from so far away. And we're just going to see the down smash again, but not able to catch that neutral get up this time. Just uh, you can mix in up his timing. Now forward tilt on that ledge trap, and now we're seeing headshot in the lead once again. Yeah, just headshot going for those backers that you can send. Nah, catch this minecart, boy. Oh, okay. They're not not gonna be an SD, and this is a diamond Steve combo, but it's interrupted by that upbeat, but. Not gonna end in NSD this time because we've seen those. But still, even with that miss input, 64% on the Belmont and Tokyukin in control. Even uh, if it, this is a bigger stage, looks like Tokyukin's made some adjustments that made him able to just deal with it better, right? Oh, but yeah. We're gonna see Headshot calling out those minecarts, not able to catch the second one as Chokyukin makes it on his timings, and then that backer almost able to do it. Uh, sure, why not? Uh, I know Patches said that he'll be right back, but go ahead. And now, that yeah, the minecart and this damage. Oh, there's Patches. All right, jab forward air and back air. Oh, this is a tight spot for Headshot. Oh yes, very tight indeed, because he's still going to have to deal with another uh, stock from Chokyuk, and yet Chokyuk and only has to do is get one nice setup from that 79, just right. like that. Yeah, trying to go for that upbeat, trying to get that up smash, but we're going to see that uh, axe, and then, oh. And the up smash, still alive, and dash attacking. Oh, and getting that minecart snacks just Chokyuken bringing these games back down from a 2-0 deficit and now going to a game 5. We gotta calm down in this case. We saw that, uh, last time Chokyuken had a you know a bit of a misunderstanding. Uh, he gotta tone it down, concentrate on the game and when he actually wins, he can take all his energy out. Yeah, I feel that he's doing pretty good against Headshot. At the, again, for tying it on a 2-0 on game, I mean, on a 2-0 set, it's, you know, big time right now. Yeah, and now Headshot kind of pondering, right? Like, he's bringing it back. Maybe he's got me figured out. We'll see. Trying to go to that small battlefield to see if the stage is the answer. 
And now, but this is Chokik and Song. I know this one. I know this one. Those Final Fantasy songs. Steve! That song is beautiful. Oh, oh, looking at that Dark Samus. So gonna switch off for that Game 5. How do you feel about it? Hmm. I feel it's gonna be a really tight game. Uh, Shokuken gotta concentrate on those walls that he puts to mine and, you know, to be a bit more defensive. But I'm just thinking how he's gonna play against Samus right now. Yeah, well, in, on paper, this is like a really terrible sa uh, matchup for Samus. Like, from both sides, they see it that way. But this is no just regular Samus, right? This is Headshot. Yeah. Headshot dominating at Samus in all Puerto Rico. So we're just gonna see how he's gonna play it against Steve. Steve having a horrible reputation by the time, yeah. but Shokyuk and Steve is nothing, you know, he's big time. Yeah, definitely making that big time being in the second seat of the tournament right here, but now Headshot in control trying to just take this uh, spot right here. Right now, I see Headshot, he gets too dominant on the side piece. You see, he's, he's in a position he cannot evade those side beats, so he's really, really on a bad position right now. 117% Steve on 23 now. Ooh, okay, nice dash attack to eliminate Shokyuken's first stock. Pretty good start for Headshot right now. Yeah, but we're gonna see if Shokyuken can bring this back, because this is a smaller stage than what we're seeing with PS2 and Kalos. But again, it's not the Belmont this time, it's the Samus, and using the minecart uh, frames at the beginning to just kind of power through that aerial. Pretty good uh, position right there for Shokyuken. Although he's in a disadvantage right now, 37%, 115% headshot in his third stock. Yeah, just uh, trying to leave that TNT so he can just mine safely. All right, that platform actually kind of messing up Chokugan right now. So maybe that yeah. small, this small battlefield pick kind of like throw him in off. Okay, gets the foot but no down air. Mm. Well, okay, this is, uh, I don't know what to say. I, I think Chokugan is suffering a lot with uh, headshots, uh, projectiles. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Oh, Manages to bring it back, okay. Forward air. Oh, this is such a tight spot for Chukugan right now. Headshot looking really good with that up throw, able to seal the stock. And now on last stock, Chukugan taking off the hoodie. Uh, yeah, he's in a bit of a pickle right now. Uh, I don't know what to say right now, because, oh. Oh, just la headshot, just shooting the TNT back at him. Yo, you can keep this. Damn, that's basically a counter right now, my friend. Yeah. Ooh, for, right now, 138% headshot. Ooh. He's got to die, like, right now. Such a good strategy from headshot, right? Going from that Belmont. Like, you think you have the set figured out, the Belmont, but now you got to deal with his main, the Samus, on a game five, and you're getting blown up right now. Yeah, yeah. And just, oh, my God, going for oh. that to seal it. But Chokugan said, not yet. This is not over yet, but can he do something? Can he bring this back? Going for that down air, and no. I mean, if someone can bring something back, I mean, we're looking at Steve. I mean, it's and with the diamond and the, okay, oh. forward air, and to the back air, the combo and headshot, JV3 on Chokyuken, ending the streak, and Chokyuken with the firm handshake knows he deserves that win. Damn.